Hello and welcome to our lesson on using all the laws of exponents. We've covered quite a few laws so far and I hope you've been practicing everything we've learned. Let's join Jim Sunny as he does examples that combine all the exponential laws and prime factorizing of exponents that we have covered so far. Simplify 2 to the power 3n times 6 to the power 1 minus n all divided by 4 to the power n plus 2 times 3 to the power of minus n. You must learn to think about the problem first before just writing down answers. Ask yourself, what do I have here? The numerator has factors and the denominator has factors and it bases that are the same. So in this case here, 2 is a prime number. So 2 can be written as 2 to the power of 3 n multiplied by our 6 is not a prime number. What are the prime factors of 6? It will be 2 times 3. That means that we can return as 2 times 3 all to the power of 1 minus n divided by 4 to the power of n plus 2. Now 4 is not a prime number. So 4 can be written as 2 to the power of 2 all to the power of n plus 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of minus n. Simplify the top, that will give us 2 to the power of 3n. Use our distributive law, that means 1 minus n multiplied to 2 and 1 minus n to 3. That will give us 2 to the power of 1 minus n multiplied by 3 to the power 1 minus n divided by 2 to the power of 2 times n and 2 times 2, which gives us 2n plus 4 times 3 to the power of minus n. Now that we've raised to the power, what will be the next step to do is to add the exponents. That will be equals to 2 to the power of 3n minus n gives us 2n plus 1 multiplied by 3 to the power of 1 minus n divided by 2 to the power of 2n plus 4 times 3 to the power of minus n. The bases are the same there and the bases are the same here and we are dividing. We apply again our second law which says if the bases are the same we simply subtract the exponents. That will give us 2 to the power of 2n plus 1. You take away 2n and 4. Multiplied by 3 to the power 1 minus n. Take away minus n. That will give us the 2n and minus 2n will give us 0. 1 take away minus 4 will give us 2 to the power of minus 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 1 minus n. Now this is very important guys. Remember if you have a negative and a negative together that will give us a positive. So if we have a negative n plus a positive n that will give us 0. So we're left with 3 to the power of 1. Our solution here will be 3 over 2 to the power of 3. That was good revision. We'll go back to Dumsani now as he looks at a factorization example. Because there is more than one term in the expression, it needs to be first factorized before the exponential laws can be applied. Let's see how to do this. 3 to the power n minus 3 to the power of n plus 1. What we've used so far doesn't help us too much, does it? But look, we have two terms here. We could try and find a common factor between the two of them. We'll have 3 to the power of n, and this one can be written as 3 to the power of n times 3 to the power of 1. We have a common factor of 3 to the power of n. Take out 3 to the power of n, we'll be left with 1 here, and there we'll be left with 3. So we have 1 minus 3. That will be equals to 3 to the power of n. 1 minus 3 will give us 
minus 2. So our answer will be 3 to the power of n times minus 2. Okay, there's time for one last question. Let's do it together. Simplify. 15 to the power of x minus 3 times 5 to the power x, all divided by 2 times 3 to the x minus 6. Let's start by changing 15 in the numerator and 6 in the denominator to products of the prime factors. 15 is 5 times 3 and 6 is 2 times 3. By raising 5 times 3 to the power of x, you will get 5 to the x times 3 to the x. The rest of the expression remains the same. Now let's take out the common factors in the numerator and denominator. In the numerator, we can take out 5 to the power x, and in the denominator, we have a common factor of 2. We now have a common bracket of 3 to the power x minus 3 in the numerator and denominator. So let's cancel them. When we cancel the brackets, we will be left with 5 to the power of x over 2. Thank you for joining us, grade 10s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Exponents Tasks video. You'll also be able to learn more about exponents on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn.